GM and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm showing you how to easily bridge your funds across EVM into Cosmos and vice versa. So a quick explainer on what this means if you're a bit new here. So essentially we have Ethereum virtual machine environments. So the likes of Ethereum, Optimism, Arbitrum, Binance Smart Chain, and a lot of different EVM chains out there. We can go through the list in just a moment. On the flip side, we also have the emerging Cosmos IBC networks as well. You've probably heard of the likes of DYDX, Injective, Celestia, Kajira, and others. And so we want to easily move our funds from one of these environments to another. So Squid Router here is a very, very sleek product and one of the best user experiences I've had when bridging. And I don't say that lightly. So let's jump into things, see how this works. Quick tutorial and I'll drop some alpha at the end as well. So this is the application for Squid Router or Router, however you want to say it. Now, what I'm going to show you on screen here is a basic overview of the UI. So first and foremost, you can see, you can actually swap between tokens on different actual networks. So not only do you bridge your funds, so typically in a bridge, you would say move some Ethereum, USDC into USDC on a different chain, but using Squid, it actually allows you to move from one chain with a select asset into a basket of other assets on the destination chain as well. So as you can see here, I can, as an example, from ETH mainnet, utilize all these tokens here, maybe ETH, USDC, USDT, a lot of different stable coins, some blue chips in here as well, the likes of Chainlink and others, and then send them directly from my Ethereum-based wallet into Celestia. So this will be on the Cosmos here. Celestia, quite a big narrative this cycle with data availability and receive. So sending dollars, all those other tokens and receiving the tier token on the destination chain. Now, dependent on the options, if I just explain the background to this, what is actually happening. So it's taken off funds from one network. So say Ethereum here, it uses Axelar as the bridge and Osmosis, which is the main DEX on Cosmos in the background to provide you with the outcome on the destination chain. So as you can see here for Celestia, there's just the Celestia token itself. Celestia is a data availability network. It doesn't require having other native tokens on top of it, just its own, the tier token. But what you will see with this through, as I just showed you all the different drop down options, there is just a lot you can do with this to seamlessly move your funds from any EVM chain pretty much to the majority of the Cosmos chains listed on here. I think there's over 40 Cosmos chains listed on here, at least around 20 EVM environments. So unless you're really on some abstract chains, I think they're going to have you covered here on Squid. So this is why I really like it. Very easy to use, lots of different options. And typically, if you're moving funds into the Cosmos from one of these other EVM environments in the past, I found it quite difficult to get from point A to point B without having loads of different steps. But this really does simplify things down for me. And this is one of my go-to bridge solutions now. So big shout out to Squid Router. I'll show you how we do it next. So let's run through a quick tutorial of how to actually connect our wallets and actually do this kind of cross-chain bridge slash swap with a live example. So what I'm going to do here, as I have previously prepared some stuff on some test wallets here, I'm going to suggest we start off from Arbitrum and it's going to automatically connect my wallet here. So if you click this button, you can come and connect your MetaMask or whatever type of wallet you've got. It's therefore going to connect your Arbitrum wallet from that MetaMask and show up with any funds you may have on that wallet. So I've already loaded because Kajira is tradable on Camelot Dex over on Arbitrum, some Kajira on here. And say I want to move these Kajira from Arbitrum over to the Kajira chain, which is a Cosmos based chain to take advantage of staking and other things natively on the Kajira chain. Can we do that? And the answer is of course, yes here. So in the search bar here, I'm gonna type in KU and Kajira is gonna pop up. And now not only can I move the Kajira I've got on Arbitrum, over to the Kajira chain as Kuji itself. I've also got a list of options here. I can bridge those funds and in the background swap them to any of the other ones you can see on the screen there. So maybe I want some stable coins 
on my destination chain. So we'll do USDC as an example. So this is showing me I can do a cross chain bridge and swap all in one of 10 Kajira from Arbitrum. The value of this around 36 bucks into USDC directly onto Kajira. And that's gonna give me around $35.56 worth. So roughly paying like $1 but in that one step, I'm getting to my destination chain with the tokens that I really do want here. What's more, in terms of a UI hack, they've also got this feature here. You can see it looks like a gas station. And this means if you do not have the native token, the gas token on the network you're moving to, you can click this and toggle it on. Arrival gas, toggle that on. And what that will do is actually give you, and that will be highlighted, a little bit of gas on that network you're moving towards. So in this case, it would give me a little bit of Kuji, as it is the gas token of the Kajira network to ensure I can do a transaction on there once my USDC arrives on there. So very, very smart indeed. A lot of people are sometimes left gasless, not understanding how things work. And you often see these people pop up in a Telegram chat saying, please can someone send me some gas? I've just moved over x thousand dollars worth of usdc and i haven't got any gas to actually do anything with it so we've connected our metamask wallets you then have to add an address down here so if you can connect your wallet directly to this so say you're on your pc and you've got the capital wallet for cosmos you can simply just connect that by entering in your password unlocking your wallet and then it will use that address for you so that is what it has done on here I've got my Kajira address input from them simply by connecting both my MetaMask and my Kepler wallets to the site here for that cross-chain transaction. If you did want to input a different wallet, maybe you haven't got the Kepler wallets, the Cosmos chain wallets, whatever one you're using, logged into on the device you're using, as long as you've got the correct wallet, you can also just add an address. If you click on address up here, you'd be able to just paste that in here. Obviously double check, maybe do a quick small transaction as a test run before you put any bigger funds across but you can do this very simply here by just adding an address and pasting it in so next step if you're happy with things give permission to use tokens down the bottom give that a click you'd approve the permission to spend the kuji on the home address the arbitrum chain here and then once that has gone through you can click on submit and then again it'll pop up in your wallet for confirmation you pay the gas cost on that home chain, which would be Arbitrum. You can see it's 0. 0.00046 of an ETH. Confirm that in the wallet, and it's gonna send those funds from Arbitrum and bridge them into your Kajira-based wallets. And this typically takes for me around 10 minutes or so to actually go through, but you can follow things up by clicking view here and seeing the transaction in real time on the block explorer. Then another quick workflow here, if you want to move funds from a Cosmos chain to another Cosmos chain, you can simply do that using Squid Rata as well, but with a bit more flexibility than the IBC transfers give you, as you can move different types of tokens from one network to the next. So I do want to get some Celestia tier tokens onto my Celestia wallets. So again, via the same Kepler wallet here, I'll have my own unique Celestia address. And so this will just require me to connect my Kepler wallet as the input for Kajira chain here and for the destination chain here for Celestia. So we'll click connect and Kepler. And then it's also requested a connection to the Celestia chain as well, which I can approve. So this would require you to just follow the steps as per the previous transaction and move funds from this Cosmos chain, Kajira over to Celestia or whatever your destination is. Very simply, very quick and efficient to do. Hats off to Squid Router for an excellent product, in my opinion. Now, a little bit of alpha from this. So I would suggest, as per this recent news, Squid Router did receive 4 million in additional funding here, raised by the likes of Polychain, which are one of the biggest VCs in the whole of crypto. You can see the likes of Maelstrom on there, which is Arthur Hayes of BitMEX, and some other very notable individuals who've actually funded that round. So typically what we see is when there is a funding round for a protocol that doesn't have a token, in order for that protocol to later make back some money to obviously help their VC investors make a return on their investments, they will release a token later on. So a 4 million raise on a bridging provider like this, I think there is a high likelihood there will be an airdrop of this token for users 
of squared routes up. So it may be a good idea to actually farm this in a way, move funds across different environments between different wallets, even if you're not particularly doing anything with it, just to try and get your volume up for this. As I think this will be under farmed relative to a lot of things on the market right now. And that's a decent raise for a protocol probably most of you haven't even heard of. So give it a blast, see what you think and drop me a comment down below as I think this is one of the better experiences bridge-wise and cross-chain swap-wise that I've personally had. So, so I'd love to hear your feedback, guys. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.